Today we're going to learn how to multiply fractions by fractions. First of all, let's review. What is a fraction? We know that a fraction represents part of a whole. In this picture, you can see that we have a grid broken into eight equal pieces, which gives us our denominator of eight. Of those eight pieces, seven of them are shaded in, which gives us our numerator of seven. Therefore, the fraction we would use to represent this figure is seven eighths. Let's also review what multiplying fractions by whole numbers looks like. In this picture, you see that we have four circles completely shaded in with green, giving us a whole number of four. But we want to find out what one-third of four is going to look like. So in order to do that, we would shade in only one-third of each of these four holes. If we combine those thirds, we will then find our answer. And we would find that one-third of four actually equals one and one-third. A common misconception is that whenever you multiply, you will get a product that is larger than the original number. That only holds true when multiplying by a whole number. So, as you can see, we have three cookies, and if I wanted to multiply and get three groups of three cookies, I would indeed get a number that is greater than the three that I originally started with, because nine is greater than three. But, when I am multiplying by a fraction, so if I were to multiply two cookies over here, and I wanted to find out what is one-third of two, or what we would say is one-third times two. We will find that we will get a much smaller number than the two whole cookies that we originally started with. So, when you're multiplying a whole number by a whole number, your product will be bigger. But when multiplying a fraction by a whole number, or a whole number by a fraction, your product will be smaller. What does it look like when we multiply fractions by fractions? Well, let's take a look at that. Yesterday was Megan's birthday. Her friends ate most of the birthday cake, leaving only one-sixth of the cake left. After school today, Megan came home and ate one-fourth of the remaining cake. How much of the entire cake did Megan eat today? I have shaded in one-sixth of the cake in blue below. And our goal is now to find out what is one-fourth of one-sixth? In order to do that, I'm going to divide the sixth of the cake that's left into four equal sections. Each one of these represents one-fourth. And I know that this is the amount that Megan ate today. However, I have to find out how much of the entire cake she ate, so I would have to divide the entire cake into fourths. And that will tell me how many equal pieces I now have. So, she ate one of those pieces, but now, instead of the cake being broken into sixths, it's broken into twenty-fourths. So the amount of cake that Megan ate today is one twenty-fourths. What does that look like procedurally? So we had our problem. We were trying to find out what is one-fourth of one-sixth. Well, when multiplying fractions, it's actually a pretty simple operation. We multiply straight across. So we are going to multiply our numerators by our numerators, and we're going to multiply our denominators by our denominators, and we will get our answer. One times one equals one and four times six equals 24. Therefore, our answer is 1 24th. Megan ate 1 24th of her cake today. Let's try another problem. Ben lost half of his marker pack on the way to school. He then shared one third of the markers he had left with a friend. How much of the marker pack did Ben give away? 
below you will see that I have shaded in one half of a marker pack to represent the amount of the marker pack that Ben lost on the way to school and the amount that he has left. Our challenge is to find out if he gave away one third of what was left, we need to find out what is one third of one half. We can do this by dividing the marker pack into thirds and since he gave away one of these sections, we know that he gave away one-sixth of the marker pack. If we wanted to do this procedurally, we would multiply our numerators, one times one, and then multiply our denominators, three times two, and we would get our answer and find out that Ben had given away one-sixth of the marker pack. In this lesson, you have learned how to multiply fractions by fractions.